Some engineering tests show us that the cause of the Galaxy Note 7 fires go beyond the battery. Cyanogen shakeups are now official and we get to see some high-level people leaving and expect a ton of Nokia offerings for the smartphone market very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, this is the fifth time that I record this video. Thank you, power outages. This is Pog Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and these are really good. Best Buy is now offering either the LG V20 or the LG G5, uh, depending if you get either Verizon or Sprint on installments. You can actually leave with a 32-inch smart TV, and if you actually consider going for the G5, you even get a ton of accessories in addition to that. You can learn more about the deals in the link in the description. I do love the V20. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google as uh, the company has just launched its uh, newer update, Android 7.1.1 Nougat. This is pretty much the first, uh, should we say, major update coming to the Pixel. Uh, the update should reach Pixels and in addition, some Nexus devices very soon. And uh, well, what you're getting is mostly UI aesthetic changes, uh, more of a way to standardize things. You can learn more about all the change log in the link in the description as well. Now let's move the spotlight over to Nokia. We were expecting either one or two smartphones, but now we've got HMD CEO shiming that there are a ton of offerings coming. Apparently Nokia wants to make a big splash. We're expecting this to happen at MWC, whether it's smart phones or tablets, doesn't really matter. Apparently, even carriers are really pumped with the whole negotiations that Nokia is providing to the table. We can't wait to see what they're coming up with. And another company that we're waiting to see what they come up with is Cyanogen, the incorporation of a ROM. Uh, apparently is not going too well, up to the point where the whole shakeup is now official. Uh, Steve Kondek is out of the company. Uh, it's really dramatic. Apparently there's back and forth on Google Plus over Steve Kondek complaining about the company and the administration and the reason why everything's failing. And I don't know why that even matters now because he's no longer there. So uh, apparently the whole change is to streamline the future of Cyanogen Mod. Um, but let's hope it actually happens, we'll see. And finally, the very hot and to a certain degree explosive news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Why, we've got this new firm conducting studies over the smartphone's engineering and design, and apparently this was not just the battery problem. Sure, the battery was exploding and there were internal problems with the battery, but apparently the tolerances in the design of the Galaxy Note 7 were just so compact that regardless, it would have still caused trouble. Uh, and this is rather interesting as uh, we know that Samsung changed this battery vendor. It didn't change the design and we know that the design had major things to do with it, but apparently this was gonna continue happening anyways. And it leads me to the question of today. What do you think Samsung should do with the future of the Note lineup? We've heard that the company is stitching it. You know, honestly, I wish that the company just came back to its roots with the Galaxy Note lineup, came up with a no holds bar Vanguard phone that we've always loved. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you wanna get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.